Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to my channel that is Udu for Beginners. Today we are going to cover one use case in the import sessions that how you can import the trial balance. When you are migrating from your old accounting software to Udu, most important part that you have to import your opening balance. Just you are getting the sample copy of your trial balance that old accounting software trial balance and that you have to import. So if the trial balance will be imported, everything will be perfect and you can start your new financial year in that database. So here I am going to do those all steps step by step. We have just sample copy of the trial balance and that we are going to import. This is my just plain database and if you can look into that accounting. So here the trial balance is nil now. So it's, you can say that it's nil now and now we are going to do my practice. So this is my copy of that trial balance. So here you can see that this all my assets, okay, with that receivable, with inventories and with that fixed assets, okay. And now here you can see that this is the part of my liabilities and equity, okay. And these are the everything summation of my trial balance. So here, this both exist by cash on hand. These are my account receivable. Here you can see the amount of 60,000 and along with that I have conclude with the three customers with the different amount and that is the summation of 60,000. So here we are going to import the account receivable with the partner wise. Okay. So now you can see that this is my fixed asset. So there is no need to worry. Just we can debit those easily. But now this is very important that stock on hand. We are going to import the opening balance also for those inventory. But how we can do how we can do that I'm going to cover in this session only. Here you can see that we are going to import the liabilities. So this is my account payables with those amount and here this I'm just going to import those payable with the vendor wise. And now the stock on hand, I have considered three item with the amount of my this 70,000. So this is my sample trial balance. Just you are getting this copy of this, this sample file and you have to import this file into your Udo database. So without wasting the time, let's jump to the database. Here you can see that this is blank. I have created one journal for that opening balance. So here you can see that this is the journal I have created. Okay. Now we can do those import with the template, Udo compatible template as well as along with passing one journal entry. I have already prepared that video using those template but in this session we are going to do those practice by passing one journal entries. That is very easy. Okay. So now what we are going to do, now just click on that journal entries, clicking on new and selecting my journal which is the opening balance. Okay. Now make sure that when we are importing those balance, okay, so this assets, assets will be debited and your, this liabilities will be the credited, okay. So let me do that. So here currently I am on that. My first is the excess man and that is the amount of is 40,000. So let me just make it the again. This is my file. Okay, yeah, this is the amount of this one. I am going to add, this will my debited. Okay, now second will be my cash. What's the amount of that cash? Cash will be the 25,000. So let me make it that. twenty five thousand. So this will be activated. Now third part, this is regarding with the bank and cash. Now third is the account receivable. So here you can see that this is the 60,000, but here I have mentioned those customers also. So I'm going to import account receivable with the customer wise. So it's, I'm going to select the receivable accounts. Now we have to add those by customers, just with the 20,000. So just selecting just with the 20,000, as I have mentioned, that will be debited. Again, with my one more customer, with that, this one is my, Lila with that 15,500. So 15,500. Okay, now third more is my account receivable with the my customer's order with the 24,500. I am going to select with 24,500. So this is the part of my account receivable. I have imported the account receivable with customer wise. Okay. Now here one more is that this is my 
stock and hand that we will cover later this is land and building so here just why I'm going to do that land and building and that is the amount of my this one six lakh twenty thousands I'm just going to debit that value okay now we can do the same practice for that computers laptops and furnitures okay this we are going to add now I have what what along with that what we are going to do we are going to add that stock on hand with the amount of 70,000 but what we are going to do here here we are going to debit the counterpart why because those import we will do the later so in that if we will check the locations in the location of inventory adjustment I'm just going to find that locations that is my inventory adjustment inventory in that inventory we have configurations and locations and let me open that which is my inventory adjustment and here you can see that I have set one account which is the opening inventory okay so here we can find the what is the exit value so this is my account which is regarding with that current asset so what I am going to do I am going to debit this account so just let me do that with the amount of this is my opening inventory and that will be the amount of my 70,000 okay so this is again going to debit why it will be debited you will get more idea after 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 performing the second case okay now this will regarding that so here you can see that I have just imported all the assets now this is regarding with that liabilities and equity so we are going to import this payable but with my vendors so what I'm going to do I'm just going to add that payable so it's just going to select that payable and now that partner is Mac and the amount is going to credit so what's the amount this is the amount I'm not sure why it's no worries I will do the entries by hand okay now this is for the next which is again no this is not tax payable but this is my account payable account one more is regarding with that account payable and again with that amount of 90,000 okay so now this is for my payables and now along with that we can do for the sale payable for the tax payable and this capital and dividend that is the part of equity again going to credit so i have do already those entries so just let me discard it and let me open those entry for the time saving purpose so let me open those with that entry i have already created those entry so now just let me reset to draft okay now here you can see this this excess bank cash, this is account receivable, this is my opening and entry is going to debit, this my assets are going to debit and here you can see that this salary payable, this tax payable, this account payable with that vouchers, all is going to credit. So now this is the simple step and now I am just going to post it. Now here just post it and boom and if we will check the reporting with that trial panel, okay, here you can see that all entries are that account payable, if we will open that account payable, we can find the entries with that partner ledger. We can find with those my partner ledger also. So here you can see this all values are there. So here this is the part we have covered that we have going to import that receivable payable. Now what's about my inventories? Here we have debited the counterparts. Okay, but what's how we can do that? So if you will going to jump to my database, my sample copy. Okay, so let me find that sample copy. Just going to save that. Again, let me open it. So here you can see that this is my three item. This is quantity on hand. That unit cost is my two five double zero. So if I will go to my products, I'm going to open that product first product, which is my Dell. I already add those value. 2500 now we are going to update the quantity for this here you can see that if i will going to just duplicate this and opening and in accounting open this trial balance so here you can see this this 70000 is debited so what we have to do we this is one kind of the interim account that 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 temporary account that must be knock off so here what we are going to do this is my update the quantity how many quantities we are going to update that is for 10 quantity so let me just open that 10 quantity okay and we are going to do 
Now let's check the trial balance and here you can see that if we will do those entry so here you can see this this value is here okay and if we will find that accounting journal entries so journal entries is there and here you can see that so this here this amount is credited in my first trap those opening inventory was debited but when we are doing the actual entry this is credited and this stock valuation inventory is debited i am going to do for the next which is my lenovo for the lenovo we are going to do for the 50 so let me open that product which is the lenovo lenovo that is my product and currently here you can see that 2000 is there and value is 15 so again just let me update and here this is the locations and 15 is there and let's check the accounting entries so here if i will go to the accounting entries so here you can see that again this 30,000 is debited and this invent sorry that 30,000 is credited and this is my debited let me do for the next which is my this product with the 10 camera so let me open this product this is my camera with already I have mentioned and update the quantity with the tag. So here is the tag is there. And let's check the accounting entry. So now accounting entries are there. Journal entries and here you can see that this is again credited. Now let's check the trial balance. The trial balance is there and here you can see that that opening inventory which was that Tramperi's account is knockoff. And my stock valuation account is debited with that actual value, which is the 70,000. So this is the steps, then how you can import the trial balance. But most important thing that you have to import your receivable, payable, and most crucial part is inventories. Please, you can do it from your side. And if you are stuck somewhere with migrating your trial balance into Dodo, just you can contact us. Thank you, everyone.